When I say I was, I've been teaching for 20 years, I had a student that was um, preparing for exam, but they didn't know how to prepare themselves to change state when they come. When I was uh, doing the exam, uh, many of them just freaked out. Mm -hmm. They completely freaked out. They had to mm -hmm. go out, have a half an hour of time, real, yeah, time mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. And they came in, and it was almost the same. Mm -hmm. Some students had to go out once again, mm -hmm. and then take to breathe, mm -hmm. and do everything, mm -hmm. physiology. Yeah. And that changed. They made the, all the change mm -hmm. so they can do mm -hmm. and, and try to pass the exam. Yeah. 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 But it shouldn't be necessary yeah. because the teachers should prepare them mm -hmm. and use the NLP to prepare them for what the exam is. Because mm -hmm. the exam is so big, yeah. as I think. It's yeah. like the whole world. It's not. No, if you were to look not, back on your life. It, yes, it's only mm -hmm. one, two, three hours mm -hmm. of work. Mm. It's trauma because they're, they're running uh, uh, catastrophe films yeah. in their mind, yeah, in bright colours mm. and, and, and loud uh, sounds, you know, and, and, and sort of they're beating themselves up inside. And just by teaching them how to use the submodalities, yeah. how to change yeah. the size of the pictures in their mind, how to drain out the colour, yeah. how to change their, their inner dialogue to more uh, more positive and use a more um, comforting voice with themselves. This is changing their emotions inside. Mm. And just bring, just very, very simple things, how to, mm. just recognizing the building blocks and what they are maybe unconsciously doing, mm. the films that they're running, and just teaching them yeah. how to, uh, how to rearrange, just makes a major difference to what's going on inside and their ability to perform. Mm. And that's not a part of the teaching training today. No, no, it's, no not. it's not. It's the opposite because mm. as a teacher, you are told to say mm. the exam is so important. Yeah. Yes. And what's yeah. happened? Your future depends upon it. That, yes. Mm. yes. Your future depends yes. upon yes. it, yeah. and it's the focus is on. Yeah. Mm. It's yeah. not a negative mm. anchor. Yeah. The yeah. exam is a negative anchor. Yes. And you have to change that. Mm. Mm. And the NLP can change. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Absolutely. It certainly can. Exams. I mean, what what I always used to do is visualize visualize myself having done the exam, and you know, just been like, "Thank God that's out the way with," and I get that feeling already, and I'm already walking on air, and that's before I've even done the exam, and that's while I'm doing my revision, so I can always have the positive uh, outlook instead of thinking, "Oh my God, this exam is on uh, you know master's level statistics, and I've never done master's level statistics before," so you know, it's just positivity. Uh, you know, visually constructing images to help me, you know, stay uh, in line with my goals and what I want to achieve. And you know, I, I pass with flying colours in that particular yeah, yeah. instance. So yes. yeah, the the recent one with statistics. Yeah. yeah. So you expect you told me you expected to get how many percent out of it? I was praying for forty. You know, forty because uh, that's your pass mark. That's the pass yeah. mark. Yeah. And uh, I got sixty-two percent. So that's I was right. really. I mean, it's seventy for like a first, which is like a very very high grade. Yeah. So it's like a, a two one. So I was pretty chuffed with that. Excellent. <laughs> Just a little Excellent. bit. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. So and how is how is NLP helping you to control your state now in the in exams, Oliver? Um, well. It's, you know, exams is a very small snippet of, where, of uh, controlling my state. It's just applicable for absolutely everything, you know. Um, you know, noticing how what an effect your breathing and your physiology has on things. You know, you don't even have to do the mental processes. Just a simple thing of uh, changing your physiology can can help you a lot. And uh, and this could be interest, introduced into schools as well. Yeah. Emphasis mm -hmm. on physiology. Yeah. How breathing changes physiology. How it changes state changes performance. Mm -hmm. It's all it's all linked together. Yeah. And it's also simple. Yes, it is. It's also uh, and it's so yet yeah, it's so fundamental and it's being missed. That's the frustrating thing. It's so simple and we all everybody knows it. And when you learn it, you're just like, Jesus Christ! Why didn't I learn that when I was younger? Because that is so blatantly obvious. Yeah. But it just needs somebody to really you know kind of open up the doors for everybody else yeah. so that it can, it can get into schools. Kids can learn it. You know. Um, I mean, you're doing your best with the future generation yes. stuff, but we, we, we need it like global scale, mm -hmm. really. Absolutely. Um, yeah. I'm a big advocate for that. Yeah, right, right. right.
So uh, let's get it done. Let's get it done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a job to do. Yeah, we've got a job to do because. <laughs>